and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Caitlyn's prologue in the Path of Champions. So let's see what Caitlyn's storyline is all about. So Caitlyn's deck, of course, is going to be uh, dealing with the traps and we're going to be planting flash bomb traps all the time. We have a couple of different cards that aren't normally in Legends of Runeterra that are just here in the Path of Champions. We have this House Wump that summons two traps as a one mana two one and then double agent has strike all players draw a card that's pretty nice we can have them draw more cards to draw more traps um and then all the rest of them are our normal cards so let's go ahead and start our adventure with caitlin so it looks like oh karina is going to be our boss for our first adventure interesting okay caitlin prepares to take on one of zon's most cunning crime bosses whose sinister roots run deeper than Caitlyn realizes. Interesting. Get up, Tremello. We've got a lead. A ah, little warning would be nice, Kate. Is this a, this a sea case? Of course it's the sea case. We intercepted another shipment. And I figured out where it's coming from. But w what if it's a trap? Seems kind of convenient. Maybe we should get a little more evidence. No. I'm tired of waiting, of reacting. This is our best shot, and I'm not going to miss. All right. Caitlyn is determined. Let's get our loadout. The new gilded Caitlyn. Okay, it's our best shot. We're not going to miss. Yeah, the House of Wamps double agents. These are these are cool cards to add. I wouldn't mind seeing those just in normal Runeterra. Basically, like, this double agent's pretty cool. Um, basically, the... I don't even, I'm just gonna keep this. This looks good. The House of Wumps is kind of like the advanced training. You know, it's like the one spell mana plant the two, but you just get the, the two one alongside with it. So I'm gonna try out these two double agents in here. Justice Rider seems to go awesome with double agent. So kind of putting those together. Um, you know, I didn't keep a one or a two, but keeping the three spell mana card means we could get to play that. I'm always on the right side of things. All right, we're gonna pass. I don't really want to trade those. Not whenever they could just draw a flash bomb and it would kill it. Man, the static shock would look good right now, but. We're going to take three, because we do heal after the first boss fight. So I'm not too worried about our Nexus total right now. But yeah, so strike, they draw, and since they draw, they get a trap. Alright, Sting Officer makes some traps also. Lot of flash bomb traps over there. There we go. Coming through, solving crimes. Yeah, just holding on to this Piltover Peacemaker if we need it. Caitlin. All right, leveled up, Caitlin. So even whenever this Justice Rider adds one, it still says plus two. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. See, like, watch this. Like, we strike, so they draw a card. So in each one of these say plus two, plus two. But really, they're only adding one flash bomb, so I don't know why it says pl the plus two. Caitlyn's pretty awesome. My aim is excellent. Right on target. 
All right, so we're going to have you strike first to plant two, and then you strike so we both draw. Hmm. I guess the card they drew didn't have any flash bombs. Poor Caitlyn. All right, victory. Good start. I'm liking this deck already. Caitlyn's a fun champion to play. Like flash bombs are pretty fun. Let's give let's yeah let's give these sting officers plus one plus one. Get some more copies of them. That's what our deck's definitely all about. When you summon an ally, give it elusive this round. Round start, refill your spell mana. I like that. I want these, like, that sounds great to go along with Caitlyn. Um, like these, so these Piltover Peacemakers, we're going to be able to play, like, every single round. Um, and still be able to, so we can, like, play our units and curve out with our units, yet still play these Mystic Shot, Piltover Peacemakers, you know, like, these different spells that we have in hand. Usually, just whenever you're playing, this is just a good rule of thumb. If you're playing any Path of Champion stuff later on, the... The less you can make stuff cost, or the more free mana you can get, you know, those are really good things to, to look for. <laughs> you know, things have things cost nothing, you know, or less mana, or um, get more mana somehow. Okay, so hopefully they play something. Uh, I was hoping they would play something, then we'd Static Shock. But I just wasted that mana the Static Shock would have been. Well, that's okay. Son taught me to never let my guard down. Iterative improvement. Tough places bring tough people. So that is also a 3-2, so it does not die to the static shock. Flash bombs are pretty tilting. Yeah, I could see them being kind of tilting to play against because, you know, it's hard to play stuff into flash bombs. Um, so this thing's going to attack me. When I'm summoned, grant other graybacks everywhere plus two plus zero. Huh? Interesting. Turning yourself in. More traps. Okay, so just went and just went ahead and just, you know, finished the game. Didn't get to do anything, like any kind of cool trap stuff that game, but I assume we're going to in future games. This is tough. I like the Sting Officer and I like the Advanced Intel. I think it's going to be one of those two. I'm going to go with the Sting Officer and just get more of these into the deck because uh, they're really strong. And drawing cards is definitely good to have whenever we get three free spell mana every round. So that the more cards that we have, then the easier it is for just us to kind of throw away that spell mana. Alright, so we get some reinforcements. Let's definitely go with the Teemo, right? Because, you know, we want traps. I mean, <laughs> this is tough though. All these are really good. Um, you know, Vi's obviously pretty good. Poppy is just incredible, right? Like, it's just Poppy. Poppy's incredible. But Poppy's too good. Let's just go with the Teemo. Alright, we'll go towards the back alley barkeep. So, shuffles the stats for each unit that's, that's summoned. So, we got... Caitlyn Timo. I mean, this is a good hand. Uh, we don't need the Vet or Investigator, actually. We'll, we'll send that back. Maybe I should be sending the Justice Rider back. But... Uh, we'll keep it. Yeah, I probably should. I just, I just really like this <laughs> Justice Rider card. Okay, perfect. Get to use that three spell mana. Oh, it got turned into an O2. 
Yeah, so this thing was was just randomly set to 3-2. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. Keep in pace. More flash bomb traps. What they need to do? They need to make Sting Officer a 3-2 instead of a 2-1. <laughs> Man, that card would be so good, a 2 mana 3-2 elusive. Play, create in hand a copy of an enemy follower. That's strong. Um, let's get justice. Let's start getting these justice riders in play. Alright, draw some flash bombs. Timo. Oh no, my Timo's an O2! And there's the 2-4. Oh, that went so bad for me. Tough places bring tough people. Zon taught me to never let my guard down. Oh, now that thing's a 1-2, so now we don't get to shoot it with static shock. Oh, these have not gone well for me. Alright, we'll just send them all in. I say maybe they you know, maybe they block the Timo. All right, now they'll draw some flash bombs. All right, so that does one to all my stuff. Mm, let's go in Static Shock, you and you. We'll start there. Get a nice double agent. I guess I should have done the poison dart at the same time, because now I'm sacrificing the sting officer that I didn't want to sacrifice. Just give me something to chase. How's it going, Jay Maskell? Hope all is well. We are trying out the Path of Champions mode today, and it's been a lot of fun doing these. Uh, doing the five prologues, in on the, mob. No the five story up. mode versions. Me, miss, not by a long shot. Let the show begin. Observe and learn. All part of the Hmm. One step ahead. I was hoping they draw some more traps, you know, for the Caitlyn, but... On foot. That's alright. Our deck's looking pretty good, you know, Caitlyn Teemo deck. Lots and lots of traps. These Sting Officers are amazing. A satisfactory outcome. Our deck's looking good. Tough choice. Let's go ahead and go with the advanced intel, right? Because uh, we get three three free spell mana every single round, and so that's just going to take up one of those free spell mana, and then it'll just replace itself and just get two more traps in there. Um, you know, that sounds very good. All right, what do we get for Caitlyn? So, you take a moment to rummage through the satchel your archivist friend gave you before you hurried out of the station. That clever girl. So whenever Caitlyn is summoned, you create the Sheriff of Piltover in your hand, which is plant a flash bomb trap on each card in the enemy deck. <laughs> Two mana burst speed. I guess I will accept that special delivery. Um, okay, so we get to go this way. Travel. Okay, let's not heal. Let's see, you know, just see if we can get an S rating if we just don't ever click the heal thing. All right, Jinx. When the foe gains the attack token, each player discards a random card and draws one. That's great for me. For, you know, both players drawing a lot more cards, that's great for all my flash bomb stuff. Yeah, I think they've I think they've done great with making this and and it's it's so vast also cuz you have your 15 champions that each one you can level up to level 22 right now. Um, you could spend, you know, hundreds of hours playing this, which is awesome. You know, I, I love how vast it is right now. Okay, so we don't really need to draw 
more cards. I mean, I guess the Puffcat Pup is, like, good if they're going to be drawing lots of cards. And, you know, obviously it works well with the Teemo. I shouldn't have skipped that. My bad. So when the foe gains the attack token, the opponent in the path of champions. So, all right. So whenever they, whenever they gain the attack token, each player will discard a random card and then draw one. Okay. So it's not the, it's not your cheapest card or anything like that. It's just a random card. So I am going to keep the poison dart in hand, so there's a better chance that we discard it, right? Because I don't want to discard my Caitlyn. Alright, so both players draw a card. Go ahead and plant some traps. Because I just don't want to... I'm just scared to discard Caitlyn right now, so I'm just keeping these poison darts in hand. Oh, right, right. We're not going to be discarding right there. Well... Well, you're certainly the fuzziest no, partner I've worked with. Wow, ruthless. I see you over there. Alright. Uh, we'll just keep it in hand again. And maybe discard them. Because we know that thing's going to die. So every single one of their cards has a Flash Bomb Trap. Notify Patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. <gasps> no. My poor Caitlyn. They are ruthless, I'm telling you. A foray into the field? How exciting. I'm gonna get you, Jinx. Son taught me to never let my guard down. Timo. Deal one to all enemy followers. And kill that thing. That's alright. So we're gonna puff cat pup. Do three with that. So, you know, because I'm gonna level up my Teemo. Can I? Oh, I can't level up the Teemo, can I? Because that's three, that's three, this is three, so that's nine total, so that's gonna be 14. So close. It'll be leveled up after Teemo strikes, but, you know, I wanted to level it up before Teemo would strike and double up puff caps. But they got 15 cards left. 19 puff caps, so they're drawn two, so they should just draw two puff caps, and that should be game. Yep, there's three right there. GG's. Victory. Whoa. These are all awesome. Man, Peddler, <laughs> Peddler's pretty epic, and so we get this black cleaver on it when I'm summoned, double my power and health, so we can have 6-6 six, six Peddler. That's great, but I mean, y'all know the Lecturing Yordle is just incredible, especially if we're getting free mana. Um, that's tough. I, th I think we just take the Peddler, I guess. That's a tough decision. All right, Keelan has a choice. This is important. Where's C? Who? <laughs> I guess you weren't kidding about the whole not here for me thing. <laughs> uh, my bad. But if it's all the same, I think I'm gonna keep this sweat bucket for myself. Caitlin, please! <gasps> no, no! Piltover enforcement! Freeze! Caitlin! Ah! Oh, so are we gonna go after Karina or are we gonna save Guy? Save Tremelo or pursue C. If we save Tremelo, game start 
summon a sting officer. That's awesome. Because remember, sting officers have plus one, plus one, and they'll also draw us a card. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and if we pursue Caitlyn, round start, give the weakest enemy vulnerable. Like, I don't even care about that. Like, this is definitely much better, so it's probably better to save Tremelo anyway. We'll find Karina. And your choice there does affect the story that you get. And so that's really cool. All right, all elusive units have plus one, plus zero, including my elusive units. Dude, our deck is pretty broken. Okay, let's send you back. Send you back. Send you back. All right, Teemo is going to have... Quickly, did a cloaked figure come through here recently? Maybe, but could you help me with something first? Uh, I don't have time for this. Never see these coming. Two, three, four. Got him on the roof. <laughs> it's round one. We haven't even like they've already got five traps. We don't need attacking or anything. Man, our deck is great. <laughs> There's 10 elusive attack on round two. Take from the rich, give to me. Vandal Scout Troop Leader at your service. Well, you're um. certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. I'm sorry, Teemo. I don't want to take any damage. It's. I want to try to get that S skill. So we're gonna. We're definitely not gonna heal this whole time. But I'll try to to stay at 30 if I can. Also with, with also not healing. Securing the perimeter. Nine, ten, eleven. Puts him down to three. Mystic shot, static shock. Finish the job. Staying at 30. Another criminal court, another case closed. Good job, Caitlin. Keep catching criminals and closing cases. Ava Achiever? Doubles all the traps? Shell game draws a champion? All these cards are so good. How am I supposed to choose? All right, we'll take Ava Achiever. I don't know if like they're going to be like last until round six too much, but let's see what we get in the shop. So we have exactly enough coins to purchase all these. So Caitlyn's going to have Fearsome. The Sting Officers have Challenger. They don't really need Challenger because I want them to Nexus Strike. So, Oh, love this one. Piltover Peacemaker heals our Nexus for three. That's a great one, especially because, you know, we... Yeah, yeah, that's great. All right, we're not going to heal. So we're going this way. Start of the game, the foe summons a stinky wump. The foe's stinky wumps have ephemeral. So they just get one additional stinky wump at the beginning of the game. This has been like my favorite deck out of the ones out of like all of our decks so far. Yeah, so it's just game start. We'll get rid of you and you. Always just keep advanced intel because it's just, you know, basically, <laughs> it's not something to be proud of. It's basically free. This time we we'll make things right. Another day in the field. Oh. Worried about taking damage from these puff caps. That's what I'm worried about. That's gonna bust up our perfect 30. Or just puff caps. Wait. 
So yeah, we should definitely save the Piltover Peace Mark. Oh, I forgot, we can heal our Nexus. So after we... After we take some damage. Stinky bump. Okay, so we only have two puff caps left right now. Even though it's about to be more. About to be a lot more. lot more. <laughs> so that's 15, and then after that thing attacks, it's 17. Alright, so we got 17 puff caps. Oh, the sting officers draw cards, and so I'm drawing into puff caps. Maybe I shouldn't be actually casting them. That's fine. For a surprise. Mm. All right, much, many more flash bombs for you. They have seventeen flash bombs, and yeah, they just got six flash bombs. This is madness. Alright, so I assume this thing's gonna just die to flash bombs anyway. So I guess this doesn't, or maybe, it, okay, maybe it's just one trap that doubled to two. I guess that's probably how it worked. Okay, so we're at 25. That's not 30. It's going to be difficult to get back up to 30. But hopefully we don't face anything else like this that just does direct Nexus damage. And, you know, we, we can heal our Nexus with our Piltover Peacemakers. We need to cast, like, two Piltover Peacemakers. Alright, nothing for healing our Nexus. We can give Double Agent Elusive. Swole Scout. Yeah, I mean, that's just the... I don't really care too much about the other two cards. We'll just go with that. Turn over to the Justice Rider. Alright, when I'm summoned, draw one. So they already draw one, so we can have these things draw two. Attack, plant three, puff cap. So this one... This, has this would have attack and strike. Both plant three. Or... Chump Womp when I'm summoned, plant two flash bombs. Um, I think we'll go with the Puff Cap Pop getting three and three for both of them. I don't really want to be drawn two. <laughs> that seems like a lot of drawing to do. All right, years in the making. Enemy powers is round start. Draw one, then obliterate it. Obliterate it. If you drew a spell, deal one damage to all enemies and the enemy nexus. Okay, so they're going to be round start dealing damage by enemy Nexus. They are going to be round start drawing one, so that's bad against my puff caps. But they just are going to randomly just be doing damage to the enemy Nexus, so we can't really finish at 30. That's going to be really tough to finish at 30. Alright, get rid of you. Oh, it's all enemies also, right? So, like, my Teemo's just going to die? Oh, Caitlin. The look on I always forget, I always get through because I'm used to the Lava Legends given through. My most precious flower. A foray into the field? How exciting! 
That's every round start. Deal damage to all enemies in the enemy nexus. Man, I mean, I guess I just hope they don't draw a spell. Man, that's gonna be rough. I smell a rat. This is gonna be rough. Basically, every round start, deal one to all my enemies in the enemy nexus. Alright, so we're not going to be able to finish at 30, but we didn't use any healing stations. So we can see Great in hand, two copies of random one cost card from your deck. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Time to go. Backfired. Okay. Let's go, pup. Son taught me to never let my guard down. Alright, hope they draw a flash bomb. Come on, flash bomb. Nope. Then flash bomb? Nope. They still have those three flash bombs that should be coming up. Alright, so making more Karinas into the deck. That's perfectly fine. We'll play this, it makes two Flash Bombs, plus if they want to attack, we can block with that very easily. And then I'm planning on playing the Justice Rider. Has the you know the strike, plant the puff caps. Ah, uh, spell. It's probably always going to be a spell. I should probably get used to that. Yeah, that thing's big. <laughs> uh. Notify patrol to close in on this location. We'll prepare them a nice welcome. Okay, so not quite leveled up, Caitlin. They should be drawing lots of flash bombs now. We know every card. It's true. I knew so much. And you? Oh. I was gonna check to see how many actual flash bombs they had, but then it skips through. Makes perfect. So we know every card has a flash bomb trap. Up a <laughs> 32 flash bombs? Let's have them draw one. Uh, only one damage? So the champion spell ones don't heal my nexus, only the regular one heals my nexus. Alright, and this thing's probably drawing five flash bombs. <laughs> We're close to it. Yeah, like there's three right there. Oh, only one. Oh no! A road you have followed perfectly. Why did I think of that card? I only have seven total puff caps anyway. Yeah, we only have one. A 
Under all your thorns lies a fragile flower. This flower is gonna take you in. Scoping the area. Alright, we're gonna let Caitlyn do the final damage. Didn't even block Caitlyn. Because Caitlyn's ability dealt five to them by just striking, by just attacking. Okay, so we didn't didn't use any healing, but you know we didn't finish at thirty. So we'll see if we get the S skill by just simply not using any healing. I give up, Sheriff. You did so very well. Thank you. I trusted you, Karina. I took you for a person of good standing. Well, that sounds yes, like your problem. You, did. you all did. And how well you served me. <laughs> well, at least Piltover can finally rest. Mm. But my dear, you forgot one thing. To kill the flower, you must pull out all of its roots. Uh oh. All right, get our 50 reputation. Adventure complete. Yeah, still a skill. Always a skill. We've we've uh, finished it at 30 health, and we finished it with zero healing. So I guess you have to have zero healing and 30 health. Maybe you have to do both. That skill eludes us still. All right, so Caitlyn is rank up ready. We can go ahead and rank up. So now Caitlyn will have the studded leather whenever we uh, do additional adventures with Caitlyn. So it's, Caitlyn will be a 4-4. That's pretty big for the three mana champion. Okay, so then your next, um, you know, uh, adventure awaits with Lulu. And then you kind of go through the path of defeating different bosses and everything. Lulu level 1, you see Zed la later level 3. Um, back in Piltover and Zon, you can retry Caitlyn's adventure if, you know, trying to get, uh, let's see, you know, because it says that we have the A and then the two S's, so like if you want to try to get like another S rank, you can do that. And there we go. And keep on uh, keep on going up. Because, yeah, this is... Man, this is so much. It is awesome <laughs> how much there is for each one of these uh, champions. You know, you have... Jace is in progress? Huh. Oh, so I guess you can have multiple of them in progress at a time. Because we'd have, like, Caitlyn in progress, Jace in progress. Because I guess I just clicked on the Lulu one with Jace. Um, so that's really cool. Because you, you know how before... Yeah, see? Tom Kench in progress. Because I clicked on... Lulu with Tom Kench. That's awesome. So you can have a whole lot of champions in progress. You don't have to, you know, stop your Jace run to go start, you know, a Tom Kench run, for example. Like, you could be doing your own Jace run, and then your friend comes over, and you're like, hey, let's play this. This is awesome. You know, let's do a new one. You don't have to, like, just, you know, quit your run that you're currently in. You just do, you know, do a different champion. That's really, really cool. All right, but anyway, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the, uh, let's click this on, the Path of Champions as much as I am. It's incredibly exciting. Looks like just an, just an awesome game mode moving forward with hundreds of hours of gameplay. Um, really, really cool. All right, but that's going to be it for Caitlin's story. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.